Hey guys, this is X six 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 X Iron Maiden. Today we're back again, checking out Ryoko Takichi, Senri Kawaguchi, and Nori Shiota. This time it's gonna be Lay It Down. Alright, guys. So we've already checked out these three uh, a few days ago when they did uh, we did an Orange No Shoto or Orange Impulse. Uh, this is going to be the exact same show where they're doing another song called Lay It Down. So let's jump right in because at this point we already know who these guys are and I already know what I'm expecting. I'm expecting it to be great again just like the last one uh, because they're all amazing. Even if they haven't played together before this, especially if they haven't really played together before this, they play together like they play together for years. So let's jump right in. No stand-up bass this time, though. We got electric bass. Loving that groove. Thank you. 
I didn't know. All right, there you have it, guys. All right, that was Lay It Down by uh, Ryoko Takishi, Senri Kawaguchi, and Nori Shiota. Uh, what, again, what an incredible group of musicians these people are. Just 
it just feels like they've been playing together forever. And I probably could look that up and figure it out if they actually have been playing together for a bit. And that, that, and I think the thing that always gets me the most with jazz actually is that when it comes to jazz musicians and you get them together and get them to perform together, excuse me, um, it always feels like they've already played together. It feels like you can always like get together and after a short period of time play together because the talent level is usually uh, so high when it comes to performing live. You don't you don't see like uh, for instance in rock and metal so many low grade musicians coming in and you know just making a metal band like a local metal band that doesn't go anywhere it lasts a couple of years and they break up and just playing some of the simpler things uh, when it comes to jazz you don't really see that very often it's usually high higher level stuff that you have to put time and effort into to be able to get and i think that's why in the, in the long run why it ends up being that you have so many great musicians in jazz because it's not the easiest thing in the world to play at least play good uh, there's a lot of technique involved in learning multiple techniques on every instrument is also a bonus and it's it's always fun to see and it always gets me so happy to watch uh, uh, these jazz videos uh, it always gets me super excited it puts me in a great mood uh, every time hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did hit that like button don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to catch more videos from me and until next time you guys have a good one i'll catch you later